Welcome traders to yet another educational video of Nifty Short Term View, episode number 43. Today's day you can see almost all of the important indices have closed in red territory except auto. I'll speak about that particular index in slight detail in the later part of the video. And I will also update on a particular stock called DLF, which I had shared some information in my previous weekly sectoral analysis video. And uh, to start the video first, I'll go with the Nifty Futures. On my right hand side, I have the daily chart of the Nifty Futures and on my left hand side, I have the hourly charts. In my previous video, I had shown that there is some sort of tendency which we can see over here just be before a couple of days, especially on the Friday. We do have some sort of negative candle visible in Nifty as well as in the Bank Nifty Futures chart. Now, if you see properly, after that, we have seen two days. Overall prices have come down. But the question is, is this a proper breakdown? Is this a proper move where we will see sustained down move or not? This is a million dollar question, which probably many people are thinking because I think uh, in intraday, if you remember in today's trading session, Nifty and Bank Nifty were much lower than what they closed. If you check at the chart of Nifty, Nifty had almost made a low of 16,353. And from there, it made an intraday pullback to 16,452. And even Bank Nifty pulled pretty decently. So I think this can, you know, put a doubt in many traders who probably have gone short in last few days and are thinking that will nifty really go down or not so to start with uh, the trend i think in the daily chart the trend in the nifty futures is still down but in the hourly time frame chart is uh, sorry the trend in the daily time frame chart of nifty future is flat and in the hourly time frame chart the trend is completely down now, why this bounce back has happened? This bounce back, first of all, my friend, it has happened due to this particular support band. If you see properly, there were multiple times whenever Nifty Futures was locked in a range, there was a consistent selling coming from this particular zone, if you can see properly. And this zone was surpassed on due to this particular candle on 30th May. And after that particular day, what has happened once over here, we saw that price tried to bounce. Now, this is the second day. Although today's bounce is not extremely respectable, but nevertheless, yes, we have an intraday pullback. Now, the question is, will this support be able to hold on the market or we'll see a close below this particular horizontal support and we'll see markets gliding down? Well, my friends, it's not certainly not that easy because if we check in the daily time frame chart, we again have a support because lots of volume have been created in this particular zone. So there is a support zone in the daily time frame chart from 16,258 to 16,150. And in the hourly time frame chart, the support band is from 16,300 to 16,395. So do you think if the price is close below 16,300, just for a mere 40 point move, someone should or someone would go short? Just imagine that. Yes, this particular candle is certainly bearish. But according to me, I think the biasness is also certainly down. I'm not denying that because if you see prices have gone up and RSI has made a lower low, I'm not denying that certainly. And if you check in the daily time frame chart, of RSI, we can see a proper trend line breakdown. Although this is very early, but uh, we do have a breakdown. But in case if the prices have to move down, I think it will happen step by step. Step by step means, uh, you know, generally market moves in two different ways. At times market, if it has to come down, it will come one way down. And the another real original way is one step down, then a a pull back short term, then again down, again up and then a fall. So what I feel, this is the more probability over here in this particular scenario. 
the reason for that is we do have some sort of resistance on the upper level and we have some supports on the lower level and generally speaking when prices are locked in a range all right because prices are still locked in a range it is not very very easy for prices to move very very fast so we need to understand that i think yes the momentum is down uh, you can even see a trend line breakdown in rsi rsi is below 50 that is fine but i think prices will need to close below 16300 in the hourly time frame chart and then probably they will need to break this also and uh, even if they break this particular band which is not going to be certainly easy this band is not going to be very very easy because we can see loads of volume being generated here now in case if there is a short term pullback on the upside what could be the resistance which could play a role over here according to me it will be uh, 16582 to probably 16620 this short term uh, resistance band could play a role 16582 to 16 620 somewhere around that i think there is a short term resistance over here now let's move to bank nifty <clears throat> now bank nifty is a slightly even more complicated and uh, in fact the bank nifty was showing more bearishness than nifty futures the reason for that is the trend is already down now in the daily time frame chart and even in the hourly chart we certainly have a proper trend line breakdown in the rsi if you can see this and uh, why this bounce back happened today uh, the reason for that is this particular 127.20% fibonacci extension and this pullback was pretty decent Uh, we can see a pullback of around thirty four nine one six was in today's low. From there, I think we bounced till thirty five thousand one twenty two. Not a bad uh, bounce back uh, as an intraday level. So I think if we want this sell off to continue, uh, this is the level which again needs to be surpassed because if you see, this is again the same level, similar sort of level which we had in Nifty futures. multiple times we have seen selling pressure coming over here in this zone i'm using the word zone not a level and then finally when this was broken all right somewhere over here now this same level may provide support whenever bank nifty futures will try to test over here so again it's not going to be very very easy for bank nifty also just to you know go for a one way move if that happens frankly because market is always right if that happens i'll be seriously surprised yes i can see the biasness uh, from the candles is certainly showing on the downside but i'll be very very surprised if it goes one way down and if it has to go on the downside the first thing which nifty bank nifty needs to do is go below this particular support and probably even today's low and then again break can see this particular low of uh, this particular support band of 34731 to 34636 this entire support band band needs to be broken once that is broken i think there will be little bit more momentum on the downside slightly more not a lot more but slightly more and then probably we could head towards this particular zone which is 34301 to 34000 244 all right and uh, now talking about the auto pack now this is one particular sector which i think in my weekly sectoral analysis also i had clearly mentioned that this particular sector is trying to outperform because there has been an up move the trend is surely up in the daily time frame chart even in the monthly time frame chart it looks pretty decent uh so i think as a trader one needs to probably find swing longs in this particular sector and one of the stocks from my side uh could be hero honda hero honda currently is looking pretty decent i'm not saying that you should go and buy at this particular level but i think once it starts moving up once it starts moving up and shows pretty decent up move all right then only one should go and buy it and i think it will take few days it's not going to happen immediately if it happens it might take 3 4 days uh, maybe 2 3 days so you will have to keep a watch on that 
and after that you will be able to understand is there a proper breakout or not so keep your eyes on auto pack for a swing long position from my side i've shared hero honda uh, if you have any other stock in your mind you can just share with your comments below in the comment section in youtube and uh, one small updation i would like to share with all of you is about dlf uh, if you remember all of you in the weekly sectoral analysis which i did share with all of you on the weekends i had told one clear thing that reality is looking pretty weak as a sector reality is looking pretty weak and if you see it has moved down because it has some sort of stiff resistance in this zone and the stock which i had concentrated on was certainly dlf and i had clearly told that this stock looks a good pick for a swing shot and when i mentioned the stock was somewhere around 330 and from there it has fallen 15 rupees in just two trading sessions so for a swing trader i think 4 and a half percent move on the downside on the downside is not a bad profit uh, in case if someone has gone short one should surely book partial profits and probably move the stop losses somewhere around the cost price which is around 330 all right so uh, to summing it up all i think uh, what i see yes uh, the biasness is surely on the downside i'm not saying that biasness is on the upside but there is a tug of war going on between bulls and the bears because there are uh, you know resistances on the upside and supports on the downside and i think with time we will know and we will understand who is going to win this war is it going to be the bulls or the bears all right so trade wisely trade less stay safe thank you